We're back now with some new revelations tonight about Hillary Clinton's communications when she was Secretary of State. Not only was Mrs. Clinton using a private email account instead of an official one, a new report claims she was storing them on a server at her own house. Now her political enemies in Congress are demanding a look at them. Our Kristen Welker has the story. Speaking to a friendly audience in Washington last night, Hillary Clinton ignored the email controversy. But today, Republican lawmakers investigating the Benghazi attack have subpoenaed all of Clinton's relevant documents after revelations Clinton exclusively used her email account while serving as Secretary of State. Whether it's unprecedented or not is very unusual. And today, the Associated Press reported Clinton's personal email account was linked to a server registered to her home in Chappaqua, New York. Tech experts say that gave Clinton extraordinary control over her files. It's a large leap of faith to uh, trust someone with that level of dominion over their own communications when they're representing a larger organization. But did she violate federal guidelines? Her aides and supporters say no. Obviously, they kept the records because many, many emails have been turned over, so records were kept. When Clinton was Secretary of State, the rules required officials using personal email accounts to ensure their records were preserved in the appropriate agency record-keeping system. But there was no deadline for turning over documents. Uh, that has since changed, but that was after she left. Clinton finally turned over more than 50,000 pages of documents last year after the State Department asked for them. So far, Clinton has left her explanation to her supporters. The potential